I've been sharing some 3D printables on, in my Etsy shop that are quite tiny. And some of them really don't print well on the 0.4 nozzle that comes stock with your Bamboo Labs printers. So I am recommending the 0.2 nozzle. And I know that that's kind of scary uh, making that change for some people. So I just want to show you that it's not as scary as you think. And then I will recommend um, and like a comprehensive video from Edge of Tech. But the first, th I'm not gonna do it because then there won't be any light in here, but the first thing you wanna do is go behind your printer and power it off. And then this cover is on here with a magnet. So it's very easy to take off and you can see it has a little cord that's plugged in. It just pops off, okay? Easy peasy. Sometimes this falls off if it bumps into something. <laughs> it's not a big deal. And then up in here, if you purchase the full hot end assembly from Bamboo Labs, you will get um, the nozzle and the heat block and the fan all already put together. And that's if you're making switches between 0.4 and 0.2, it's really nice to have that because then you don't have to take all this apart and take the nozzle actually out. You can just make it this quick switch. Now, I'm not actually going to do it again because I didn't power it off. But you see these two screws? You just need your little Allen wrench and you loosen these two screws and take them out. And pro tip, if you take this plate off, this thing down here is a magnet. You can just stick your little screws right there until you're ready to put them back in. The next thing you're gonna do is unplug this wire and this wire. It's super easy, you just pop them out. And then with these screws out, this whole piece, the heat block and the nozzle and the fan will just slide right out. Okay, you're done, you can set them aside. You're gonna have a piece that looks just like that. Let me see if I can find one to show you. Okay, this is what the hot end assembly looks like. Do you see how it matches what's up here? Okay, and this is also a 0.4, but if you ordered one that's a 0.2, it'll say 0.2 on there. And once this is out, you're gonna slide it back up in there and then you're gonna plug these back in. See how one of the wires is like loose and the other one is stiff? On a brand new one like this, the wires are a little bit dif more difficult to work with. But after you've done it a couple times, they kind of loosen up. The more stiff of the two wires is what gets plugged in down here on the very first plug and you need to tuck it behind this clip. And then the longer, like softer wire goes in the next one. And then if you see this plug up here, that's um, where that front cover gets plugged in. So you slide it up in there, you plug these two plugs in, and then you put your screws back in. If this isn't like perfectly aligned in there, the little screws are a little bit difficult until you can push them in. It's okay to gently apply a little bit of force until the screws pop in. I have to do that on a brand new one. And then tighten them both up and um, put your cover back on. So here's my cover and my little plug. These plugs can be finicky and like that freaks me out because I don't want to bend them. But I will tell you what, I have changed it a lot of times and not had a problem. Okay, so there it is. It's plugged back in. This is clipped back on. And then you can power your machine back on. And you'll have to go in um, Bamboo Studio and change what nozzle that you did. I'll do that one next. All right. So for first time 0.2 nozzle users, we have to do a little bit of um, setup in Bamboo Studio. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is come up here to printer in the upper left and click this little gear icon. The printers all come standard with the 0.4 nozzle and we wanna add the 0.2 so that you can select it when you slice. So just find whichever printer is yours and you're gonna add that 0.2 nozzle. I'm using the P1S, so I'm going to check 0.2 here. And I'm gonna confirm. Okay, and now you can see over here in this drop down menu that the 0.2 is an option for me to slice. Okay, and then the next thing you need to do is let the slicer know which nozzle is actually in your printer. So we're gonna go over here to the device tab and we're gonna choose the printer that you're using. If you only have one, there's only one to pick. I've got a 
a few of them for commercial printing. So I'm going to choose Caleb because that's the one that I was pretending to change the nozzle in. And then come over here to the upper left, I mean upper right, and click printer parts. And you're going to change to the point two. Now, the bigger nozzles can come in hardened steel. The point two only comes in stainless steel. So stainless steel, point two, and there's no OK or apply button. Once you've changed it in the drop down, it's changed. You just click the X. And now you're ready to go. So you can um, import your tiny little things and you can slice at point two. And when you print, you're ready to roll. You'll get more detail in your tiny prints. Thanks for watching.